You know, one of the downsides to a life of crime is that occasionally you have to do business with people who are, um, well, for want of a better word, criminals. Like most things that end with you hanging upside down in a deserted warehouse, it started with a really good idea. A small cat in the garden was painted by Pablo Picasso in 1903 in what was known as his blue period. It measures 12 inches by 11 inches and was stolen from a private collection in the early hours of Sunday morning. Mm. Value? It's been insured for three million. Wow. Police say the gang was clearly experienced and well-informed. Meaning it was stolen the water? No question. Is uh, Mad Dolly still around? My thoughts exactly. Who? Dolly Hammond. She's, uh, she's the best Picasso forger in London. She's all right, but she's, she's a bit... Uh, uh, unique. Yeah, she's a bit different, you know. Insane. Yeah. No, she's a lovely old bird, really, but um, she used to have the hots for Albie. Oh. <laughs> well, why would we need someone to forge a painting that's already been stolen? Well, because now its theft has already been reported. Collectors will believe you if you tell him you're trying to sell it. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. As always. Well, potentially brilliant, depending on who you try and sell the fake to. And here's a little tip. Should you ever find yourself trying to flog a fake Picasso, Don't try and sell it to the bloke who the original was nicked from in the first place. All right, here come the cavalry. Ash. Where's Mickey? They pulled a gun on us. Petra Sava's men are taking him. What happened? Well, it's a very long story, but the upshot is the original was nicked from him in the first place. He wasn't happy at us telling him it was us who nicked it and then trying to sell him a fake back instead of the real thing. This is not Picasso! This is not my so Petra Sava is holding on to Mickey till we deliver the real Picasso back to him. We haven't got the real one. Yeah, I did mention that, and we argued for a bit. Then he threatened a level of physical violence I wasn't comfortable with, so I backed down. He's given us six hours to find it. So what happens if we can't find the real painting? Oh, he was very specific about that. Mickey's a dead man. Anything. But that's impossible.
impossible. Well, it's not a local crew. Someone would know if it was. By now, the real painting could have been shipped out of the country. Yeah, but come on, it's weird that no one's heard anything. Well, if they have, they don't want to share it. What about that Dolly the Forger? Would she know? Eh? Well, she's a Picasso freak. She might have heard something. What, I suppose? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a try. Let's do it. Can't find a decent thief these days. They're all gangsters. They've got no class. Not like you, Albert. Thank you, darling. I'd string them all up by the testicles. <laughs> Leave them there for the crows to pick at. Feed what's left to the pigs like we used to. So you've no idea who stole the Picasso, Dolly? What Picasso? A small cat in the garden. You've had your copy. I've already done it. No, no I'm talking about the real one. He's cute. <laughs> Dolly, the painting, have you any idea who nicked it? How would I know that? There's no one said anything to you. Who? Anyone. Said what? About the painting. What painting? The Picasso. I don't know who nicked it. Well, that's what I'm asking, isn't it? Well, I've told you. Who are you? Oh, I'm Emma. What are you doing in my house? I'm with Albert. It's your floozy, is it? No, 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 no. You're the only woman for me, Dolly. Oh. Oh, unlucky. Dolly, do you know anything at all about the painting? Anything that might help us find out who nicked it? I mean, was there someone who really liked it? A uh, private collector? Or, or did someone try and buy it before and failed? Anything? I know where every Picasso in London is. I can smell them. Except this one. <sighs> Dolly, look, is there any way you can track it down, you know? I mean, what's the word on the street? Do I look like a huggy bear? Dolly, we need to find it. I see what I can do if he sings to me and he snogs me. <clears throat> hello, darling. Well, hello, darling. It's so nice to have you back where you belong. <laughs> <clears throat> Forget it. It's, uh, it's not happening. Sean, think about Mickey. Let's get Mickey. Do it, do it, do it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Sean. in a couple of hours. Send him. Just in case Dolly draws a blank, we better cover all the angles. Albert, use your police contacts. See if they got any leads on the robbery or any idea who it was. Right. Sean, take the car. See what else you can find out about Petra Sala. Okay. okay. What about us? You and me go and see Cyclops. Now art's not really his thing, but you might have heard something. I got the dogs playing snooker, if that's any good to you. It's a classic. I used to have the bird on the tennis court scratching her bum, but uh, got stiletto damage, yeah. Domestic dispute. Well, women don't really get art, do they? Is that right? Yeah, well known fact. We got no patience for it. That's why all the major artists are all men. Women would never be able to finish anything. They'd be halfway through the Laughing Cavalier, and then they'd wander off to start colour-coding their shoe cupboard. Look, 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 can we get back to the matter in hand? Which was? A small cat in a garden, a stolen Picasso. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So who nicked it? Art's not really my thing. I said that, didn't yeah. I? But I heard about it. What? I said I heard about it. No, no, no. What did you hear? It was nicked. You want a chip? No, thank you. Any chance of a date? None. Sympathy shag? Think of it as charity work. It's been a while. Look, Cyclops, Nicky's in trouble. Whatever you know, you need to tell me. We haven't haggled yet. What? You're going to charge us? Excuse me, this is still a capitalist society. Well, I thought Mickey was your mate. Well, he's more of an acquaintance, really, but... Uh, yeah. That said, I'm willing to make a discount. Well, how much? Call it a nifty. OK. I can't tell if these things are related. But the day before the Picasso was nicked, a hardcore jock crew flew in. Scottish. The McCrary brothers. They took over a house in Westbridge Grove. Now, all I know about them is that they nick to order. Anything you like. Usually out market. Paintings, cars, antiques. I mean, they could be ever something else, but... Uh, it's worth asking the question, isn't it? Okay, what do you think? Oh, well, we could knock on the door, say I'll kind of new and ask them if I just need to be careful. It's direct and to the point, but as we don't know who they are, I think it's a little bit foolhardy. Yeah, I know. That's what I like about it. Ash? Who is it? Uh, it's Ash Morgan. I need to talk to you about the Picasso you just nicked. Have you lost your marbles? Yeah, we haven't got a lot of time. What's the worst that could happen? They could kill us. Yeah, well, then at least Mickey would know he died trying. Got some bottle? Yeah, well, needs must and all of that. Well, then you come then. Well, that's very kind, but if it's all the same to you, we'll stay out here. Fair play. The uh, trouble is, a very good friend of mine's being held by Petra Saba, the bloke you need to Picasso from. Now, it's a long story, but now he thinks we got it. Well, why would he think that? Because we told him we did. Yeah, we were trying to sell him a fake. We're grifters. Yeah, it's what we do. We read about a Picasso being nicked, so we had a copy made to sell to a private collector, one who wouldn't ask too many questions. And if they'd read in the paper about it being stolen, they would believe it was real. Yeah, exactly. The trouble is, the collector we took it to was Petra Saba, the bloke you just nicked it from. Which he wasn't very happy about, as you can imagine. Well, it's a beautiful story, and I am getting all misty-eyed, but what's any of this got to do with us? Well, uh, if you give us the real Picasso, the one that you nicked from Saba, we can go and get our mate back. Well, let's just say that we had this painting. Not that I'm saying that we do, you understand. But he's your friend, not ours. So what's in it for us? Well, uh, to be honest, I haven't thought that bit through. Uh, what do you want? Don't want anything. I tell you what, 20 grand and I'll nick it straight back for you. <laughs> you know, just for the sheer brass neck of you, I'm tempted to help you out. And I do love a grifter, especially a pretty one. But it's already been moved on. Where? Oh, I can't tell you that. You have to. Ash, is it? Yeah. Ash. I can't do it, son. We've worked years to build up a reputation based on complete discretion. I can't piss that up the wall for a couple of grifters. So, my lips are sealed. All right, what about if I threaten to beat it out of you? Then I would respect that. I mean, my brother Neil here would defend ourselves as best we could by ripping your head from the rest of your body and eating it. Fair enough, just asking. You have a nice day. So? Looks like we're back to square one. No, not exactly. Now we know who stole it. Yeah, but not who for. We still don't know where it is. Any news from the old Bill, Albert? <laughs> not seeing if we know more than they do. What if the McCrary brothers haven't delivered it yet? We could just watch the house and wait for them to make a move, right? Well, are they delivering it tomorrow or next week? We've only got four hours left. What about Petrosava? Well, I did some digging about, like you said. 
And Mickey was right about him being a high-end art collector. His private collection would rival most European galleries. Plus, we knew we owned half a dozen nightclubs in London, so it was bound to be a bit dodgy. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, until you find out how dodgy. Human trafficking, uh -huh. Class A drug distribution and the protection racket that started in Romania and has now spread over eight European cities. We need to get Mickey out of there. So what did you do with the black guy? He's in the boot of my car. Can he breathe? Sure. At least I think so. Yeah, if they don't bring me my painting, you think we should kill him? Or just uh, cut some bits off? Huh? Or both? Both is good. They don't cut people up too much in the West, you know. They don't uh, kill them very much either. They beat up. But if you just beat up, they get better, they find some friends, and then they come back. If you cut bits off huh, and post them to their friends, this doesn't happen. No. It's, it's more efficient. Exactly. So, both it is. You cut. I kill. held hostage by a Romanian gangster who won't release him until we find a painting of a cat in a garden. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> you crack me up, you lot. Very vivid imaginations, as my mum used to say. Mind you, you probably need them in your line of work. Cheers, Eddie. Uh, look, give us a couple of minutes, will you? We're thinking. I thought I'd hear something. <laughs> oh, you had a phone call. Uh, nice lady. Molly? Dolly. Dolly, that's it. She said um, she's got what you want. Only you have to send the cute one, whatever that means. No way. Oh, no, no way. No way! No way. I didn't know if you liked red or white. So I bought one of each. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. So, did you actually have to? I don't want to talk about it. Oh. No, of course not. She took her teeth out. <laughs> so, did she say anything at all? Take a deep breath, Sean. Might help to make the pictures go away. Petra Sava bought a small cat in the garden by Picasso at an auction in Kensington. He outbid a private collector called Matthew Fairchild, who's an investment banker and happens to be the father of Louise Fairchild, whose married name is Holmes. Should we know her? No, but you might have heard of her husband. Harry Holmes. The Harry Holmes. Paid so. This is easy. 
Z Cause I've been blessed with the curse of how I beat down Flip it, wrap it up in a verse, yes believe me I pound pound on this underground Fools tend to scatter like roaches when I come around Fighting on another sound, running from my life Is that the sun rising? Nah man, I grab the mic to turn the lights off We don't need them to shine while I hit you with this one at a so time I, So I calm down, calm down Now, I understand you're not a grass and I admire that in a man, I really do. I need you to open up for me. One way or another. When Harry Holmes found out it was Petra Sava that beat his father-in-law to the painting, he wasn't happy. It hurt his pride a bit. Yeah, I bet it did. I heard he was like a dog with two watsits when he married in the upper classes. Apparently he's always fancied joining a hunting, shooting, fishing set. So the painting's all about impressing the new in-laws? Yeah, it seems like it. Then maybe those in-laws are one of the reasons that Harry hasn't got his own hands dirty in order to get the painting back. So he paid the McCrary brothers to steal it for him instead. That's what Dolly said. And you sure that wasn't just pillow talk? All right. So basically, on one side we've got a violent Eastern European gangster and on the other we have a homicidal maniac. Yeah, that's about the strength of it. So what should we do? Well, the sensible thing would be to call the old Bill, tell him what happened and throw ourselves on their mercy. Yeah, we're not going to do that, right? No. Which leaves us with one other option. Which is? To steal the painting back from Harry Holmes. This is the home of Matthew Fairchild, father-in-law of Harry Holmes, who paid the McCrary brothers to steal the Picasso painting from Petrosal. I still can't believe you got it back. It's family, isn't it? I know someone who's getting a special treat later. Fairchild's already a collector, so the security is a bit nifty. Oh, that's comforting. Yeah, they've got CCTV, weight sensor pads, motion detectors, heat imaging systems and laser webs. That's if you can get past the two killer dogs in the grounds. I hate dogs. Well, luckily, although the system's state-of-the-art, it was designed by Matthew Fairchild himself. Well, how does that help us? Well, systems like this are only as good as their design, and he's made a very common but very simple mistake. Which is? Well, basically, it's a domestic system, and like most domestic alarm systems, it's designed on the assumption that a theft would take place either when the place is empty or at night under cover of darkness. Which means when they're home during the day, the alarms are switched on. Exactly, Albert. Because who would be stupid enough to break into a house in broad daylight when everyone's at home? Okay, so this is all about timing. Everything on cue, like a ballet. Firstly, let's make sure the dogs get their sleeping pills. They'll last about 20 minutes. Three, two, one. The dogs are asleep. I'm moving into position. Albert, set. Ready. Emma, Sean. Ready. Ready. Okay, go.
But I think we should get out of here. Yeah, I'm with you. Now look! This is it. I've had enough. All right, come on. Calm down. I told me to calm down. All right, thanks, Nigel. Don't forget I owe you a big cigar. A good one? Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, the police have been tipped off. They've seized the painting, and they've arrested Harry Holmes. Was that good or bad? Well, it can't be good, can it? No way. That's exactly what it is. How come? If the police had got it, Saba was a rightful owner. And they'll just give him back the painting. And he'll let Mickey go. Job done. <laughs> Eduardo, refreshments, if you please. <laughs> Hello? It's good. Yes, Nigel. I see. All right. Thanks for taking the time to call me back. I appreciate it. They've released Ariel. That was quick. Well, they found the painting in the house and it was fake. What? No, that ain't possible. We know it was the original. Uh, he had it nicked from Sava and Sava bought it at the auction. Yeah, he would have been angry enough to kidnap Mickey and hang Ash upside down if all his loss was a fake. So if the one Harry had was a fake, where's the real one? Think so? Oh, thank you very much, Eddie. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to serve you. What do you have on yourself? Yeah, thank you very much. You don't mind if I do. Doesn't make a lot of sense. No. Now, let's just think about this for a minute. Now, we have to assume that the painting the McGrary brothers nicked from Petra Sava is the real Picasso. Agreed. Yeah, but by the time we got to Harry Holmes and his father-in-law, it was a fake. Exactly. So they switched it. Must have done. Yeah, it can't be anything else. So if they passed on a fake to Harry, they must have had another buyer lined up for the real one, the robbing bastards. <laughs> The McCurry brothers have the real painting. Well, that's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, right? they must have it. Or at least know where it is. The gate's wide open. Oh, we're too late. Oh, There's no sign of life anywhere. No, they're long gone. Well, of course they are. I mean, if you're just about to stitch up Harry Holmes, you're not going to hang around where he can find you, are you? They must have moved out just after we saw them, right? Great, they could be back in Glasgow by now. We're screwed. No, you mean Mickey is. No, wait, wait, wait. If you are going to give Harry Holmes a fake, you're not going to risk him spotting it, are you? I mean, it would have to be near perfect. So, where would you go for a near perfect copy of a Picasso? A girl's got to earn a living. But why didn't you tell us, Dolly? Well, I didn't know there was a connection. Well, it's the flaming cat in the what's it, the same painting we was asking you about. Yeah, but I can't keep track of everything. I'm not an accountant, I'm an artist. All right, all right, all right. So, step by step, right? You did the fake for the McCrary's, right? Maybe. Dolly, stop messing about. Are you going to let him speak to me like that? Eh? I thought what we had was special. We didn't have anything. You touched my Mabel. What about that is what she calls her ferret. Ferret? Yeah, she keeps it in the carsey. I don't let just anyone touch my Mabel. Dolly! <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, all right. I made them Recrearies a fake. And they said that they got a buyer, but he was a Muppet and he'd never know the difference. Yeah, well, that Muppet is Harry Holmes. Oh, that's not good. No, it's not, is it? So, I need you to tell me what the McCrary's were doing with the real Picasso. Hey, they did say something about a new buyer. Who? I don't know. Well, did they say anything at all? Mention any names? No. OK, right, well, the, uh... The fake. So, when you finished it, did they collect it from here? No. So how'd you get it to them? I had to parcel it up and send it in a cab. Right, where to? I don't remember. Dolly, this is important. Well, look, it's all this pressure. I can't think straight with you all looking at me. All right, would it help if we all just looked away? Yes, except him. <laughs> oh, come on, Dolly. Oh, oh. Maybe a gin might do it. It helps me to relax, mm -hmm. right? Uh, what do you have with it? More gin. Go. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> it was a hotel. Good. Which one? Up West. Name. 
Have another drink. Have another one. She's no use to us. She passes out, is she? I am here, you know. I could, uh... I could book us a room while I was there. It was the Goodridge on the South Bank. Uh, See if they've got a four-poster. <laughs> Is he still alive? <clears throat> yes, boss. Mm -hmm. You know, your friends have uh, two hours to return with my painting. If they are late, we cut off something every ten minutes till they get here. If they are not here in two hours, we kill whatever is left. What do you think of that? Do you want me to take his gag off so he can tell you what he thinks? No, no. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a people person. It was a rhetorical question. I know what he thinks. You do? But he is thinking he hopes his friends come before we cut anything off. Oh. <laughs> then maybe he's thinking uh, about what we will cut off, huh? And in what order? True? Still here? Albert, you know the concierge? Yes, Anthony. Excuse me for a moment. Well, Listen, I thought Dolly sent the fake painting here. Yes, because the McCrary brothers needed a fake to give to Harry Holmes, not the real one. Which means the real one could be here. Well, there's only one way to find out. Thank you. Thank you. All right. They're staying overnight. They booked your car for tomorrow morning to go to the airport. And right now, they're in the bar. Look like they've got anything with them. What room are they in, Albert? 624. Okay, well, they've seen me and them, so uh, we'll check the room. You two keep an eye on them. Give us heads up if they move, yeah? All right. We haven't got a lot of time. You go that way. Yep. All those times Mickey's bailed us out and I can't even find a painting. Oh, we're going to find it. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, time we haven't got. It's less than an hour now. Do you know what? I'd rather get tooled up, go to Sabres and take me chances. But you can't do that. Yeah, well, I can't do this either. It's a setback, but come on. You're just as smart as Mickey. Right. The McCrary brothers are still downstairs. Let's just go and try and talk to them again. We can get through this. Let's go. holding your mate until you bring him this. Yeah. And he doesn't know it was me that nicked the painting. He thinks it was you. <laughs> Sounds like you're up shit creek and left the pedal at home, sunshine. And I have had a right result. Just tell me one thing. How'd you know it was here? We didn't. 
We just found the McCrary's and I for the best. Yeah, but those two stitched me right up. Didn't just sell me a moody painting. Made me look like a right prat in front of my wife's family. Where are they? No idea. There was no one in the room when we got here. All right. Seems to me you two haven't done me any harm. You've got nothing I need. And you've got enough to worry about, so get out. Come on, sling your rope before I change my mind. We can't do that. Oh, yeah? No. Without the painting, Petrosava's not going to let our mate go, so I don't care who you are. I ain't leaving without it. And that's your final word. Yeah, it is. Plan B? Well, it's uh, more like Plan A revisited. Huh? Harry will take the painting back to his father-in-law's house like a conquering hero. And we've already got a plan in place how to steal it back from there. Oh, clever. Yeah, more importantly, we need Harry back at the house pronto. I'm finding the McCrary boys will only slow him down. So let's make sure he has to leave now. Sorry, but my Bobby's just ran into your garden. Bobby? Uh, as a white Bichon frieze. Oh, only I was really worried in case you had dogs. Uh, we do. Oh, no. Um, Bobby? Oh, Darling, come on! Come on. <laughs> OK, two in the viewing room. Time to split them up. Paul Holland from New York. Can we met at one of those awful meet and greets in London last month? You do remember. We've been through here twice before. Go, mate. There. What? I heard something. This way. Bobby? Yes. Uh huh. The games were very low. Yes. Which brings me to my other.
you know, you might... Excuse me. Oh, yes? Time to go. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, thank you, darling, so much. Yes, I'm coming back now. All right. He found his way home. Oh, <laughs> he's such a clever baby. Oh, thank you so much for helping. It's fine. Thank you. Bye. 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 Uh, sorry, Matthew, I got the senator on the other line. I've got to take it. All right, I'll be in touch. Well, thank you so much. Home, James, and don't spare the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Yeah, the real one. Same place as you left me in half an hour, but if Nicky's not there, the deal's off. Okay. Half hour. Well? All set. We'll meet back at the warehouse in half an hour. We give them the real painting, they give us Mickey. But can we trust them? The honest truth is, Albert, I don't know. What if Harry realises it was us? I don't know that either. But, Ash, what Look, happens let's if... Let's just get Mickey back first and worry about everything else later, yeah? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, well, first I need a drink. Set him up in. There you are. Mad Dolly told us where to find you. Oh. That was you at the hotel, wasn't it? Hotel? So are you leaving? Just passing, were you? That's right, yeah, we, um... Well, we found out where you were and we thought we'd try again, you know, to convince you to let us take the painting. That's what I thought. So it was you guys that set off the alarm, was it? Yeah, yeah. What did yeah. I tell you? That's why we're here. We wanted to say thank you. Hey. Look, I don't know why you hit the alarm when you did. I mean, if you guys hadn't done that, we'd have just waltzed up there and found Harry Holmes in our room. Yeah, well, you know, uh, don't mention it. <laughs> so what happened? You, uh, you found us, and then you saw Harry and his goons there too, right? That's right, yeah. So uh, we legged it, only we didn't want to drop you in it, so... So we hit the alarm. Yeah. <laughs> Look, all I know is, if it wasn't for you guys, we would be screwed, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you do the same for us. Oh, absolutely. Well, there you go, then. <laughs> Look, we would love to stay and have a beer with you, but we have a flight to catch. We've got to get home and make a start in spending this. Four hundred grand for the painting. The painting? The Picasso. We sold Harry one of the duds Dolly made. Yeah, I heard. That's why he was looking for it. Oh, no doubt. But we also had another buyer lined up for the real one. German guy. Wait. You said you sold one of the duds to Harry. So you sold a dud to the German, too? No, no. He got the real thing. Bid the highest, you see. No, we had Dolly make two duds. We sold one to Harry and the other we were going to sell to some Aussie guy in the hotel bar, but he was a no-show. Yeah, yeah, but you can't have sold the real one. It's because Harry found it in your room. Well, he would have been pretty disappointed when he got home. Hey. Eh? Did the deal with the German guy this afternoon long before Harry found us, so if he found a painting in our hotel bedroom, it was the other dud. Shit, I think we actually hung it up on the wall, didn't we? We were leaving it as a wee present for the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we just came here to say thank you. Oh, by the way, how did uh, how did things pan out with your friend? Oh well, we're um, we're still working on it. 
Well, good luck with that. Cheers. So we stole another fake. You told Sava we have half an hour. We've got 15 minutes. So what do we do now? Yeah, mate. When you live outside the law, on the fringes of society, you're always going to have days like this. What you might call a bad day in the office. Well, the thing is not to panic. There's people like this lot, they're like dogs. They can smell fear. So the trick is to make them think you know something they don't. That way, they'll generally hold off killing you while they try and work out what it is. You have brought my painting? You brought my friend. Painting first. Friend first, or there's no deal. I don't think you're in a position to negotiate, do you? If you believe that, it could be the worst mistake you ever made. I see my friend, you see your painting. Right there. Now your turn. Who's got my painting? Look, this is none of your business, Harry. Well, I'm making it my business, Boris. <laughs> Been dancing around you lot for too long. My name is not Boris. It is when I'm talking to you. You know, calling me Boris is, is racist. Tough. Uh, excuse me, can we, uh, can we get on with this, please? What are you doing here? What do you think I'm flaming doing here? I've come to swap this painting for my mate. That is my painting. No, my painting. Look, I nicked it fair and square. Yeah, and now I'm getting it back. That's enough! Uh, who are you shouting at? You! The pair of you. Have you never heard of honour amongst thieves? Some kind of nodding appreciation amongst your peers? You're like a couple of five-year-olds. Please, miss, isn't it my painting? It's pathetic. And I've had it with both of you. Get the painting. <laughs> I've had a gun shoved up my uter, been hung upside down and kicked up in the air. I've been threatened by at least three nationalities by running around half of London chasing some stupid picture of a cat in someone's back garden that looks like it was done by a three-year-old on a sugar rush. I've been lied to, cheated, and generally abused just because me and my mate here were trying to earn an honest crust when Rasputin here went and kidnapped him. Hey, Rasputin is worse than Boris. I said shut it. Now, I don't know whose painting this is, and to be quite honest, I don't give a flying toss. I have had a very bad day. Do you know who you're talking to? Never mind who I'm talking to. You want to worry about who we are, son? We're grifters. 
Yeah. This bloke over here, he sold the Eiffel Tower, the Palace of Westminster and the Sydney Opera House. We broke banks, companies and political parties. We took on the Mafia in Las Vegas and we made the London Special Branch look like the Keystone Cops. So never mind about you two threatening us. Now I'm threatening you. We're going to make you our hobby. Spend sleepless nights working out how to take everything away from you, every penny. It won't be just a sodden painting you have to worry about. You'll be working out where you're going to sleep at night. Because we're going to pick you clean. We'll strip every bit of flesh off the bone. speech. I've got just one question. Yeah, what's that? How are you not going to do that when you're dead? Very good. <laughs> now give me my painting. No, no. You give me my painting. Some people never listen, do they? I'll tell you what. You can sort it out amongst yourselves. Tied up. Yeah. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Harry Holmes, yeah. Oh, good job he turned up. Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> I phoned him. You phoned him? Yeah. So what do we do now? Hello, Harry. Uh, would you be interested to know who the McCrary boys were working for when they double-crossed you? I, I do know. Have you got a pen? They don't seem to like each other very much. No, nah, well, I, I found the other one, I know. Harry Holmes. Yes, he cheated a friend of mine. So, when I find out he stole your painting, I thought it right to call you. And I'll phone the old bill just in case it went pear-shaped. We should be here in a minute. <laughs> Is that the real Picasso? Uh, no, 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 that's, uh, that's a fake. So, guys, can I can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything. No, it's okay. But wouldn't it have been simpler to get the real painting? It's, it's okay. Cheers, Ed. So, no one's looking for us? No, no. You see, they both thought that the original was damaged in the fight at the warehouse, but neither Petra Sarva nor Harry Holmes could afford to lose face. So, the only way they could save face was to have a fake each. That way, they could both say they won, and honour is restored. And they all get to live happily ever after. I've done the lesson. Ah. Yeah, well, you know, as happy as they can be. <laughs> Well, it seems the only winners are the McCrary boys. Tell me about it. 
They just walked off for 400 grand. Whoa, 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 whoa. They might get to go with all the money, but we got something much more precious. We got Mickey. Alan? Oh, yes, that's true. Yeah. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. You can't put a price on friendship. No, but if you could, I reckon it'd be about 400 grand. Oh. Well, don't oh. listen to him, because he was beside himself when you were gone. Stop. He was taking all the blame, and he was just full of self-loathing. It was just it. really heartbreaking to watch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we may not have made any money, but apart from the odd bruise, I think everything turned out OK. Yes, it did. Yeah, I have got to ask you something. Down to did you really lose it with those gangsters at the warehouse? Well, we hadn't got a lot of options at that point, so I thought I'd do a bit of Mickey Waffle. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Mickey Waffle. Yeah, you know, that thing where you talk a lot but don't actually say anything. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, I do not waffle. But do a bit. Uh, when? when? Well, usually when you know you're wrong but you won't admit oh, it. That's <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but that's, that's far from waffling. That's just my way of presenting a reasoned argument. A way, of, a way of putting forward the facts. Which, in the main, Ash, I'm, I'm sorry to say, is something you fail to do. You prefer to use emotional rhetoric littered with expletives to make your point. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. <laughs> 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 that was not waffling. Thank oh, you, Sean. Sure. She'd left me in the boot. Now. Well, it can be arranged. <laughs> yeah, got you some honest papers. Oh, oh cheers, Eddie. Um, that was that Dolly Bird again. I was going to give you a shout, like, but I could hear you waffling. Cheers, Ed. Wasn't waffling. Of course not. Em. Um, this Dolly. Sounds a bit of all right on the phone. What's she like? Oh, now. <laughs> now. Wow. She is special. Yeah. Yeah? Well, she's she a looker. Oh, Definitely. Hey, she a looker. She's got a lovely set of teeth, hasn't she, Sean? Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Only we had a bit of a chat, you know, we got on like a house on fire. I think he was flirting a bit when she, uh, when she rang earlier, you know, she said she liked my accent and that, so, uh, so, you know, might have a crack of it, like. It? Yeah, yeah, you, you don't mind it, I mean, I, I'm not, don't want to tread on anyone's toes. Oh, good for no, you, no, mate. No, you, no. you go for it. Yeah, <laughs> she's, uh, she's inviting me around for a drink. Yeah? Ah. Yeah. Edward, this is a match made in heaven. You think so? Absolutely. Yeah. You knock yourself out, sir. Cheers, guys. I'll let you know when we get on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that was a bit cruel? Yeah, probably. Oh, listen to this. It says here that a Mondrian was stolen from a gallery in central London, and it's valued at 2.3 million pounds. Doesn't Tucker still do fake Mondrians? It was a joke. Yeah! <laughs> Should have seen your face. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Graham Norton's The Real Deal after the news. His guests tonight are Kenneth Branagh and Frank Skinner. Or over on BBC Two now, it's QI with questions on the taxing topic of the inland revenue. <laughs>